Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to find uh, equal matrices from the following given matrices. First of all, we are going to recall what are equal matrices. Uh, there were two conditions given for the equal matrices. Number one was the order of the two matrices must be same. And the second was the corresponding elements must be equal. Corresponding entries must be same. So first of all, we are going to write down all the orders of these matrices, right? So A for A matrix, since it has first one row and one column, so it is 1 by 1. As B matrix, it has one row and two columns, so it is 1 by 2. C matrix, 5 minus 2 is considered a single entry, which is 3, so it is 1 by 1. Next. We have D matrix, a 5 and 3, there are two elements and it has one row and two columns, so 1 by 2. E matrix, two rows and two columns, 2 by 2. Then F matrix, it has two rows and one column, so it is 2 by 1. 3 minus 1 is considered as single entry and 3 plus 3 is also considered as single entry. So it has two rows and one column, so 2 by 1. This is again 2 by 2 matrix. I part is 1 row and 2 columns, 1 by 2. And J part is J matrix is 2 by 2. So we have written all the orders. So first we are going to consider uh, condition 1 and then we'll be considering condition 2 for the matrices to be same. Okay. So A matrix, let's match A matrix. It is It has order 1 by 1. The C matrix is also of order 1 by 1, so order is same. Now let's find out the corresponding entries. First entry is 3. When we solve 5 minus 2 in the C matrix, we also get C, uh, we also get 3. So the two entries are also same. So A is equal to C. Right? Next consider let's say B part. B is having 1 by 2, and D part is also having uh no, D part is also having 1 by 2, but if you see the corresponding entries, these are not equal. So, B is not equal to D. Let's find out. 1 by 2, uh, ith part, right? B, B matches with the ith part. Uh, order is same, 1 by 2. And let's find out the corresponding entries. Uh, the first entry is 3, and the second entry, when we solve 3 plus 2, we'll get 5. So, B matches with the I matrix. So B is equal to I matrix. The order is same and the corresponding entries are also same. Now let's start with the D part and D matrix does not match with any other matrix I think so. So D matrix is same as it does not match with any other matrix. Now E part, let's find out E part. E matches with, it. E has 2 by 2 order uh, and uh, H has also 2 by 2 order and also the Entries are also same. And J has also 2 by 2 order. Let's find out the corresponding entries. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 plus 2 is 6. And also zero, uh, 2. So all the entries matches with E and H. So E matches with H and also matches with J. So E, H and J are equal matrices. Now let's find out F part. F matrix has uh, 2 by 1 order. And also G matrix is also 2 by 1 order. And let's now find out the entries. It has 2 and 6. It is also 2 and also 6 when you solve it. So you see F matches with H and F and G are equal matrices. And the only matrix that does not match with any other matrix is the D matrix. So for uh, finding out whether the matrices are equal or not, we have to consider two things. One is the order of matrices. And then is the corresponding elements or you can say the corresponding entries. So these two are the things that we have to consider while making the two matrices or two or more than matrices as equal matrices. Let's solve one more sum. Okay, now question number two. Uh, we are supposed to find the values of A, B and C which satisfies the matrix. Uh, which satisfies the matrix equation. It's not equal, it's the equation. Okay, now let's see what is given and what we have to find out. 
since uh, it is already given uh, see you have uh, uh, see the equal sign the two matrices are already equal if the two matrices are equal this means the order is must be same so if you see the first matrix has order 2 by 2 and the second matrix is also 2 by 2 and if the two matrices are equal the corresponding entries must be same so the first entry must match with the second and so with the other matrices so these are the corresponding entries or the elements so in order to find out the values of unknowns these are unknowns a b c and d we must have some equations and how we are going to have equations by the with the help of the second condition of equal matrices that the corresponding entries are same so if the corresponding entries are same since the two matrices are equal so we can make an equation that a plus c the first entry matches with the first entry of the second matrix that a plus c is equal to a is equal to zero let's find out the second matrix second entry is this and from this it here it is this so we can also write as and uh, it's with the same color a plus 2b is equal to minus 7 and also we can find out that c minus 1 matches with 3 so this is the corresponding elements are same so we can write it like this and the last one we can write it 4d minus 6 is equal to 2d so these are the corresponding entries so i have matched them with the colors so that you can easily sort out the corresponding elements now since we got these four equations we got four unknowns so we can easily sort out the values from this equation let's solve it further from this equation number three if you see we can easily see c is equal to three plus one so c the value of c is equal to four one unknown is sorted out and this we can insert in equation number one let's mark these equations as give them numbers okay uh, we insert when we insert this value of c equal to 4 in equation number 1 so a plus 4 is equal to 0 and from here we'll get a is equal to minus 4 so we got the values of a and c now if we insert the value of a in equation number 2 this is going to be minus 4 plus 2b is equal to minus 7 and here we have 2b is equal to minus 7 plus 4 and here we have 2b is equal to minus 3 and b is equal to minus 3 by 2. So we also got the value of b. Now the last equation is already in single unknown is there. So we can just rearrange it for d. Minus 2d is equal to 6 and here 2d is equal to 6 and here d is equal to 3. So you see from the uh, concept of equal matrices uh, when we matches when we equate the corresponding entries so we easily sorted out the values of unknown i hope you understand this sum thank you so very much allah hafiz